Hey everybody, welcome to another beer review on Cheer to Beers. My name is Travis and on this beer review we're looking at a beer from Great Lakes that you probably haven't seen in stores. This one just came into my local store and I'm pretty sure it just came in to um, um, Central Ohio because this has been a brew pub only beer. I've actually tried to trade for some of this. I didn't pull a trigger because I, I knew it was so close I could just drive and get it. This is a uh, I've been at their brew pub for a while in six packs and on tap. Um, finally, I think just came out of the brew pub in stores, at least uh, to down south, a little bit in Ohio. I'm in central Ohio. And this is the Wright Pills. This is Great Lakes Brewing Company, their Pilsner. Um, clocks in at 5.3% ABV. Um, I'll go ahead and read to the back of the bottle. Um, it says, based on the original formula from the city of Pilsen in Bohemia, this classic Pilsner style has a flowery bouquet an elegantly dry finish, named after the brothers Wright who invented and built the world's first ex successful controlled airplane. This true Pilsner, like these local heroes, has all the right stuff. So, um, you know, Great Lakes Brewing Company, they only use the four ingredients you should use in beer, barley, hops, yeast, and water. So, um, this is a new beer from them. If you, uh, you know, if you see this, uh, just, uh, you know that it just came out of the brew pub. They've been brewing it for a while now, but it's now getting into stores uh, other than just the brew pub. So let's go ahead and get into Great Lakes Brewing Company, The Right Pills. See in the pour, it almost pours like an adjunct lager. It doesn't have a, a great uh, color to it. It's got a good amount of carbonation. It's kind of a yellow gold with a little bit of, tiny bit of lacing and uh, hardly like a film layer of head on the top. Let's go ahead and give this thing a smell. Interesting, it does uh, it doesn't hit you with a huge hop note. It's definitely a kind of that grainy smelling beer. It does have some kind of maybe a, maybe some kind of a, I'm not sure what kind of hops it is, but it's not it's a little bit earthy. Um, it's not fruity or anything. It's just kind of got this earthy, grainy kind of smell. Yeah, it, it, it definitely you can definitely tell it's a pilsner. Um, not a huge great smell, but it's a it's not bad. Okay, let's give the Great Lakes the right pills a taste. They're Pilsner. Cheers. Wow, that's very, very good. It's really good. As you can see, I've already had three of these out of the six pack, and uh, you know, I've had this before, but it's just such a good beer. Really, really good. Okay, okay, I just read this out. It says they use noble hops. So, uh, yeah, they use noble hops. Yeah, that's that's interesting, because that, that is the, you know, the. Um, it's kind of like Noble Pills from Sam Adams. You get that kind of same smell and a little bit of similar taste. Yeah, the taste hits you with a little bit of bitterness from the hops. And then it's pretty grainy. It's just really, really crisp. It leaves a little bit of lingering taste on your tongue. So overall, it's just, it tastes really good. You guys know I'm not a big Pilsner fan. But this one is just... There's something different about this one that um, is separating it from the other one. So let me go ahead and sip on this for one for a while and I'll come back to my final thoughts and my grade on Great Lakes Brewing Company, The Right Pills. Okay, back here with my final thoughts and my rating on The Right Pills from Great Lakes Brewing Company. <clears throat> I think I just found my new summer beer. This one is really, really good. Um, it's, it's really, really drinkable goes down so smooth, I almost feel like I could chug it. And I can't chug a lot of beer, so that's, that's saying something. But it does have this, this really crisp hop taste and this really, really good malty, not very malty, like grainy taste. It's not malty, it's not like sweet, but it's like a pale, pale grain malt kind of taste. Just really, really good combination. It's not overbearing on any flavor. They all mix together. It's just a crisp, clean, great beer. I mean, this one is a really good... Oh, man, this is this is pretty tough because this this beer is just really really good. I want to give it a nine, and uh, since I'm doing the point grades, I think I'm going to do um an eight point five on this one again because it's it, I don't know. You know what? I'm going to give it a nine actually. Change my grade because for this style, this beer is amazing. I would recommend if anyone likes pilsners, go get this beer. This beer is amazing. Um, if you can find it, go get it. Check it out. Let me know what you thought of it because. For some reason, this beer is just, I didn't think I was going to like it this much. I just thought it would be a typical drinking beer, but I can see myself buying a cases of this 
um, six packs and everything, drinking in the summer, just a go-to beer, because this thing is really, really good. So 9 out of 10 on the right pills, um, that's pretty high. I think their Christmas sale I scored about that. Um, so well, I might have to re-review their Christmas sale um, here coming up in the, the Christmas season. So Not coming up yet, though. we got we got a while before that. It's too hot. So, uh, but let me know if you've had this beer. Make sure you uh, click up and subscribe to my channel. I post your beer reviews. Um, like once or twice a week. I used to have a schedule, but I've been so busy. I'm just trying to do it when I can. So uh, make sure you check it out. Um, I'm going to have another channel coming out soon, hopefully, that does energy drink reviews and stuff like that. Uh, but for right now, I'm sticking to the beer. So if you guys have had this one, let me know. Comment, rate, subscribe. And until next time, cheers.